Hello, my name is David Baker. I work for the International Group Secretariat and I am the International Group's accredited representative to the International Maritime Organization, the IMO. When we edit the textbook for Module 1 of the PI qualification, as well as overseeing the questions and answers related to this part of the course. What is Module 1 all about? Module 1 is titled The Shipping Business and it provides a general introduction to this industry sector. There are six overarching elements to Module 1, covering shipping in general and the importance of shipping in global trade, the different vessel types and their characteristics, a who's who in the shipping sector, a general overview of maritime regulation, and the general components of insurance, contractual, tortious and statutory law, and limitation of liability and time. All of this provides an important introduction to the shipping industry, and always with a view to where P&I clubs fit into this picture and their relevance. Module 1 provides a high-level review of such topics, and does not require previous experience of the P&I or maritime industry. Given the high-level nature of the subject matter contained within Module 1, they are generally covered in a broad, overarching manner within the Module 1 text, in order to give candidates the basis for the more detailed subject matters that follow in Modules 2 to 7. How much learning material will be provided? Module 1 is one of the longer modules, and you'll notice that the textbook runs to over 125 pages once you discount the appendix. Whilst Module 1 does provide a general introduction to the shipping industry, there is still a lot that is covered, and a thorough understanding of concepts, the ability to evaluate them and apply them in various situations, is needed in order to succeed with the highest knowledge rating. Each section of the module text is relatively concise, but also kept up to date given the changes that may occur in particular to the various regulatory requirements that are covered. For example, we recognise that IMO conventions are regularly kept under review at the IMO, and where they are subsequently amended, then we seek to take account of this through updates made to the Module 1 text. Hard copies of the textbook are available as well as the electronic materials, and there is an interactive online sample test, as well as example questions on the website. Even though Module 1 is an introduction to the shipping industry, and even if you have previous p and experience or experience within the maritime sector, I'd really encourage people to take the sample test, because we consistently find that those who do score higher marks in the exams. Are there any parts of the textbook or exam that people generally find more difficult? Well, in general, people do very well on Module 1 because of its introductory nature but you shouldn't be fooled into thinking that means that you do not have to do a sufficient amount of revision in advance for the Module 1 exam. There are some areas where the scores in the exam are less high. Some examples of these would firstly be questions on general insurance, contractual, tortious and statutory law. You should not assume that because this is the final section of the Module 1 text that it is given less attention by the exam question setters. Secondly, questions on the different industry organisations and their roles often features questions that score less highly. So be clear on what the different acronyms stand for when it comes to the different industry organisations and understand their roles and who they represent. There are a lot of acronyms in the shipping industry. What will I be examined on? As with all the P&IQ modules, the exam questions you will receive will be drawn from the text itself. The general rule for the whole course is that you will be examined only on the main text and appendices are only examinable where specifically mentioned. And in module one, there is only one appendix. How will this training help me with my job? If you are involved in any way with ships, shipping or p and insurance, then this module will give you an overarching understanding of the importance of your sector, how it fits into global trade, 
and the different roles and parties within the sector, and it provides a broad brush approach to the regulatory environment within which you work. What we've tried to do though with this module is teach the course in a manner that makes it interesting outside of your work environment. There are various aspects of the module one text that may be of interest, whether you work in the sector or not. We have tried to teach this element of the PNIQ course, not in the manner of on the job training, but more in the manner as to be of a wider interest and to have significance, no matter your role within the shipping and PI sectors. We hope that module one fulfills this objective. Mm -hmm.